Hello everybody, <clears throat> hope you're doing really well. Welcome to Benhurst Research Station. Let's go take a look inside, we can get lights on, come on. Sometimes you get an example of when a place becomes so abandoned that really the only outcome would be to flatten the site and start again. And with this also comes the sad neglect of the building's former history. And no greater example of this is Fernhurst's research station. Situated in West Sussex, it's hard to believe that this site at one point would have been one of the most important research sites in the country. It started life originally as a lavish country estate owned by banker Sir Felix Schuster, but in 1945 it changed dramatically when a joint venture company called Plant Protection Limited turned the site into the Chemical Research Institute, with focus being on crop protection as well as research into pest and disease control. But it was in the 1950s when the site was at its most notable, when in June 1951 an international conference with scientists from 39 countries took place at the site on food scarcity. Then on the 10th of May 1955 the site was visited by the Duke of Edinburgh as well as another international conference taking place on the site in June 1956. From 1958, the ICI, or Imperial Chemical Industries, took over operations and made it their international headquarters until the 1990s. Before that, in 1986, Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher opened a new international conference centre at Fernhurst. Two years before the ICI relocated to Europe, the site won a Queen's Award for technological achievement for herbicides, fungicides and pesticides. Eventually the site changed ownership a couple of times and then finally in 2001 the site closed permanently. With its fate still uncertain and constant rumours of new developments being promised, the site's ending has yet to be written. say this place is huge is an understatement <laughs> so uh yeah it's kind of weird so you enter and then you've got a corridor that way a corridor right in front of you and then one to your right and uh yeah i suppose I'm not really sure which way we should start because <clears throat> it is huge um, hmm, what should I do? This is obviously the darkest bit. In fact, it's a bit straight to the stairs. Okay. Um, let's go this way first. It's so big that there, there could be people in here and you just wouldn't know it, which is quite exciting. <laughs> I mean, it's that big. Live fuse box. Okay. Just rooms and rooms. With the floor taken out. It's really odd because it almost. It's not that it feels abandoned, it feels like it's unbuilt. Which is even more stranger. 
don't think I've ever been into a building where it actually feels more unbuilt than it does abandoned. <laughs> but my God, this is a quite a good one to do. Like I said, obviously, loads of people have done this, as you can tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to rush, but I'm also not going to take my time today because it is literally what it is. It's all empty rooms. Skip past, eat ass. I don't really need to wear a mask, but there is asbestos, as you can see. I'll tell you what, these tiles are really uneven. Doing such a good job of uh, trying to turf it all out. Oh crap! Every time you hear that, that's my foot almost falling through the floor. The thing is, in a kind of nice way for me, you don't really, you can just look at the rooms as they are. You can always pause if you're interested. Now this is completely blocked up, so what I'm gonna do is I will go through that way on the way back. Or I'll go up, that's what I'm trying to say. bought a torch with me just in case as well because I kind of thought it would be quite dark. It's got the ground level that sort of goes round which might do that. And then uh, work our way up. So there's one set of stairs that goes right at the end of there. The other is there, which you sort of saw, but it's kind of blocked up. Now, the good thing about all of this is that the layout is um, symmetrical to a certain degree. So what I'm walking across will be the same going up. Does that make sense? Oh, sorry about that. The entrance way. So let's go through here. Let's use my torch. He says, if he can get it, there you go. connections on the patch. Not born in 1996. Cool. Well Mike, if you're still here, not here, if you're still alive, D114. Cool. Stage four. 
towards it, it says. One, two. PHS It's actual tiling in here, can you believe that? Who's giving your bag the eye? Don't let a thief get away with it Crime <laughs> Oh dear, look at the amount of tiles that are here that's crazy. Clearly had a lot of money. Let's look at D12. D12 the same. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry people of YouTube. So this opens out into the courtyard. So yes, everybody, we've got two more levels to go. It's huge. Confusing. I wonder if they've done this on purpose to try and gut out the middle so it makes it really difficult for you to walk across. Let's try and do this. Or can I walk around? No. So that obviously goes into that bit round there. Turn it into a little skate thing. How cool is that? Oh, that's amazing.
Oh, this is really cool. <laughs> Never been into an abandoned building where they've completely turned it into like some skater haven. I love that. Look at that. One of the little ramps. Wow. 16th of the 4th, 22. How I've not seen anybody in here amazes me, to be honest. I'm just going to jinx that now, aren't I? Walking around. See, a problem with a site this big is it is so easy to be distracted by things you might think are interesting and yet you've got to still try and keep the layout in the right mind. I say right, okay. This is how I got in. That's taken so much time. Basement. Jesus Christ, it's like, please don't tell me this is like a mirror image of down up the top. It's bloody huge. Slip then. <laughs> Have your own instructions for the control valve. Just 
Jesus Christ, this place is way too big. All of a sudden, this has got quite um, dark. How exciting. Water torch. Oh, it would be the lovely draft. Hell, I genuinely didn't realise it was this big. amazing because you're not actually that far away from where I was. There's a huge fucking net there. <laughs> so, so far we've done a bit of the ground floor and a bit of the uh, upper. I do love a uh, haunted basement. Let's go back in and do it that way.
Okay. Most people like the weird, I don't know really what you call it, processing stuff, I'm assuming. Just is huge. Skylight. Oh, I've got to take you in here quickly. Bloody hell. Use this door. Permits work must be attained well. I don't think I need a permit anymore, mate. All replacement, all systems, materials to be water research council approved. King Sturgeon Co. 1994. Cool. That's crazy. December 86, the supply date. Oh wow. Can you see that? How amazing. Might have been a skylight. This place genuinely is way too big. <laughs> yes, I did slip again. <laughs> oh dear. All the urbexes have been uh, putting their tags on the wall. Right. I suppose we should head upstairs. Take his mask off. I don't think we need it anymore. Anyway, let's head up. As you can imagine, there's glass everywhere. And then you sort of say to yourself, like, at what point, you know, does the security stop giving a shit? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh wow, look at that second floor. The, the irony is that you look at that and you think, oh well, not too bad, but that's like a small section of this. And then you've got the stairs again. Do you know what? I'm going to go up again. Hey, it's a fox. My spirit animal. See? Whoever graffitied that, they wouldn't have known that. They wouldn't have been like, cool. Like Dan from Phoenix History. He lurked his spirit animals a fox, I better graffiti on the, on the, uh, 
a benevolent one for him so that when he comes here, he can see it. Okay. This is just ridiculous. Look at this. There's the elevator again. So we sort of, by using that, we kind of know roughly where we are. But my God. Oh, got to go on the roof. I've got to go on the roof. Thing. Oh, hang on a minute. Bloody hell, that's the piping. Goes all the way down to the floor. That's pretty cool. Please tell me this is open. Hell yeah it is. <laughs> We're gonna go on the roof and then we'll figure out a plan of action to sort of cover the other two floors. So come with me. Yeah, I should have bought my wind muff. Isn't this just the coolest thing? You, you can actually explore the roof. And I sort of think to myself, no matter how many explorers have been here, surely just to do this alone is really exciting. Now you get to see a layout of it. So, in essence, it's a square, a rectangle, but there's two of them. So you've got corridor here splits off in the middle and then another rectangle does that make sense I'm not sure if it's a square or you could just argue one non rectangle split into two maybe oh man this is very cool although you are exposed to the of a building that is around here, which is uh, Aspinall's, I think. Oh, look at this. Is that for like a, um, it's not a lift, is it? Is that for like one of those sort of dollies? Dump waiters, but it's not really. Well, I think it might be a first on the channel where we've explored and we've explored a building and we've got onto the roof. I think it's a first. Oh, it's so peaceful up here. Although probably in the camera you're going to get all the wind going. Shh, shh, shh. So I've got to make a mental note, we've not really explored much of the second floor, well we haven't done any of it. i tell you what, it is quite a cool place to chill, I'm not going to lie. And you see people sort of picnicking up here, right on the roof of an abandoned building, pretty nice. I could think of worse places and it's not exactly like this place is sort of exposed to loads and loads of stuff oh I love it up here the good thing is is that I'm in no rush to uh, do anything else today I just sort of pretty much drove to this one specifically obviously knowing that it will be quite boring because there's not much that survives. But we've seen a couple of cool things. We've seen some skate ramp stuff in time 
building. We've got up to the roof so far. Went into the basement, which is interesting the level of that. I'm really curious to the design because we didn't go. Probably went into the darkest bit of it. That makes sense. But yeah, apart from that, pretty cool. I'm going to keep my distance from Aspinall just in case. Because the last thing, imagine someone working there. And they're just like, oh, hello. Although they've probably seen loads of explorers here. I mean, Christ. You saw the amount of graffiti and rubbish that was here. Can you honestly tell me that they're not aware of that? Luckily, I'm very good looking. So I could charm my way out of it, I'd like to think. It was a joke. Dislike, dislike, dislike. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> I think I'm going to come go out the way that I come back down the way I came because then I've sort of got a better idea of what I've covered. So we'll need to head over there. So come with me. Let's go. Might as well make it back down. Still on the top floor. Um, still really on one quarter of the top floor. Some asbestos there. Toilets up here. Toilets. Oh. oh well. That's an interesting bit of graffiti. Some more steps there. The opposite end. I cannot get over how freaking huge this is, and we're up on top. If we weren't going through every building or every look at it, it'd probably be quite a short walk, but it's good to try and document what we can although I'm fully aware there's not a huge amount to see and I'm sure that even after this I'm gonna get people saying oh well you know you missed this bit or whatever but it just becomes a bit boring after a while it's probably probably part of itself by date already now anyway to be honest but because you get an idea it's just corridor after corridor proves how far gone this place has been because of how big it is and how much destruction there is. You know, I mean, this is taking a... Obviously, this is a generational <laughs> form of destruction in a strange way <laughs> because of, uh, you know, how alien, pretty cool. Um, 2022, I mean, look, this is all, you know, Point is, I suppose on my channel, because it's a history channel, you get to sort of say to yourself, well, you know, 
I'm documenting the history of what is here, but to be fair, you know, there's not really much left to document, is there? You know, it's not, we're not going to see anything huge here. Oh my God. The bed. Telephone numbers, that's weird. Or is it? <laughs> be crazy if people genuinely slept up here but it's not the first time I've seen stuff like that in fact it probably is a better place to do it if you're being honest as per usual I'm letting everybody know that I'm here by stamping on stuff seems to be more um artistic graffiti up on the top floor. Oh, nice to get a bit of ventilation through. All these people smashing windows. <clears throat> I'm glad I took my mask off. I was, wasn't really sure. But I think we're going to be alright on this one. Do what though, I did pack light, which is slightly annoying. Literally just got a torch on my phone. What the hell is in this? Four, three, four, three. That is the corridor for the central. Yeah, so that's the corridor for the central section, which we don't need to worry about. So we're now going into the far, far end. So we've sort of done the toilets again. Yeah, so yeah, that's the central corridor for that. You're sort of getting the idea now. Oh, let me get this out. Well, as I said, the layout is very easy. However, unfortunately, it's taking time because I want to try and film what I can. And you don't want to see my ugly mug. Smell graffiti paint. Love that smell. <laughs> Mind you, I was one of those people when I was younger. Did you used to sniff the Brit stick? And then when they brought out a uh, scented Brit stick, well, that was it. Most of my primary school slash early secondary school years were me high. Which would explain a lot. <laughs> oh dear. Actually, yeah, that would. Can you imagine? So, Dan, why do you think that you've got, you know, you've had mental health issues? Well, been sniffing prit stick from the age of about nine. <laughs> but it smelled so good. Oh, and what was the other one? Tipex. I don't know, if you don't live in England and you don't know what Tipex is, it's this white stuff that used to blot out your, um, like, like if you were drawing in ink, you'd block it out. And it had this really chemical based smell. Hmm, what this is it?
and some tails there. Very interesting. Is that a bird? Or is it a fellow explorer? Again, I'm not going to constantly film every single room. It's ridiculous. These are toilets again. I'm not going to go in every single toilet, but you get the idea. Tiling is universal in each one. It's good for consistency. There's Aspinall's. God, how many times do you reckon they've seen people in here? It's like, oh, there's another explorer. Okay. Should we call security? Oh, no. I'll tell you what, though, if you were security here, you'd be earning your money. You really would. Such a beautiful day for exploring. Oh. No. See you like so. Just gonna walk around. Please tell me I do not want to have to go right back around again. Oh for fuck's sake. Yes is the answer. Right yo. I've got a funny feeling the reason why is because that corridor at the far end does link up to Aspinall's. If I show you, I could be very wrong here. Yeah, look, that's Aspinall's. And there is a corridor there that links right up to this. It's proper wedge. Well, I have to wait for me to go down to the second level now, but stay with me, I'm sure we'll find some more strange stuff. Come on. So what we're in now is the dividing corridor. That sounded like someone. Hmm. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if there were people in here. It's so big. But what I was trying to say was this is the dividing dividing corridor. And uh, I think what we'll do is the steps were just behind us as you saw. So we'll probably head down those and then we're on to the second floor, which we haven't explored yet properly. So we'll probably do that. Yeah? Okay.
So because this place is so big, I'm fully aware that I don't really want to record all of it. So I'm trying to figure out what the best approach is. And I keep feeling like I'm lost in terms of, I keep thinking, oh, that's like a parallel bit, but it's not. So I think I'll head through to second floor here. So acutely aware that my battery and my memory on here is dying at a rapid rate. So it's literally going to be as long as I can make it on the battery on here. I didn't bring a secondary camera because I thought actually if I'm uh, having to bring a secondary camera then it's just going to be too big and too boring for all of you. So, uh, sort of thought, oh, we'll keep it as long as this lasts. But the point is, I think you get the idea anyway, don't you? It is a maze of corridor. F2. That was the staircase that I came up. Bloody hell. Genuinely never been into a place as big as this. And the fact that I know I'm not going to be recording all of it, which, like I said, that's not the issue. Hearing noises, but I don't know if that's if that's other explorers who might be here, or it's the wind hitting the anything that's making stuff move. See, there's a lot of wind. I'm just surprised I am on my own. That's the biggest surprise. Surprised that I've not actually seen anyone. And honestly, when you see some of this gravity, you think, oh god, I dare to think what actually is happening in this place. I genuinely sort of think to myself, oh my god, what have they been doing in here? This place really does sort of show the variety though of the amount of people that have been in here and explored. 
or the graffiti. What happens when the ink gets left over time for a long time? It is crazy when you put all that into context. Well, I'm looking at my battery. And it's telling me I better wrap this up pretty soon. So I might have to, everyone. Again, just need to clarify for everybody, I didn't break in. Which you can probably tell anyway, I mean Christ. Otherwise we'll probably be in pristine condition. Just goes on and on and on. Room after room. Can you imagine at when it was at its height? The amount of like just energy that was in here from people being busy and doing whatever kind of crazy to sort of think you know it reminds me of exploring a school you know when you're exploring a band in school you you sort of get this residual energy of not like stone tape theory but you get that sort of like vibe of wow at one point this must have been really really busy so to imagine that this building is in memory of people who obviously still alive who would have worked here you know, and that's the scary thing about it, is that there are people alive. And this isn't like a World War Two structure where you know that there were people who probably passed away and they're no longer here to share it. This place here, you know, there would have been people actually who would have remembered this. And, you know, to sort of see it in the condition that it's in. To me, it's just crazy. We'll go through here because we know that that is the end of the line there. C2. I've never seen more telephone numbers in my life. I think the idea is I'll probably aim to get up to this side. Looking at the battery, that's probably all we've got left. Well, you could argue that it's such a waste. But my God, if anybody was going to redo this, they've got a huge load on their hands. I mean, this is... It'd be easier to tear this place down. What does that say on it? Hey, Wilmington, Delaware. And continental West Europe. So in a place like this, you need to find those hidden little things that are reminding you of what this used to be. Because you wouldn't know otherwise. Just think it was just I mean this is the reason why I did it, it was because the history to me was interesting in my opinion anyway you know it's just crazy it's here So we've basically 
parallel to where we were coming round. We've sort of done more of the outskirt of it really. We have the inner. Thinking at what point? You know, when they smash holes through there. That's crazy. Elevate shaft again. Right, what am I going to do? Tends to keep going this way. Yeah, that, that was a done way to what I said about. Can you see that? Hang on. What we saw up at the top. Probably was a couple of them actually, I wouldn't be surprised. Hang on. It honestly never ends. Looks to be like a sink or something there. In a strange way, I'm just going on instinct as to where I feel like I want to go. Just keep following around. Another table. That nobody's destroyed that is amazing. More telephone numbers, Christ. L2. Well, the amount of explorers, like I said, that have been in here, it just proves that you can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> this is what happens when everybody goes into places. It ruins it for everyone, and you can't have nice things anymore. And there'll be some of you probably going, well, you're a history channel, Dan, and there's, you know, how, how historic does this class for it to be in Phoenix history? You know. Uh, yeah, just makes it in the back of my mind. I keep thinking that phrase like, This is proof why we can't have nice things anymore. <laughs> oh dear. Luckily, for what it was operated for, historically, is interesting. However, as we know, the, the building itself is just, well, a haven. And I think I've seen pretty much everything I would expect to see. Drug usage, tick. Um, actually, yeah, let, let's do a tick list. Let's get into the corner. Drug usage, tick. Graffiti, tick. Crap graffiti, tick. Good graffiti, tick. Broken windows, tick. Beer cans, tick. Litter, tick. Um, what else was there? Is that pretty much most of our generic things that we'd expect to see here? Broken glass on the floor, tick. Um, yeah, I think that's it, isn't it? For what we normally class. What we expect to see. Offensive graffiti, tick. Non-offensive graffiti, tick. There's the steps down there, M2. There's no way I'm going to keep going through. Back into the central corridor again. I'm letting everybody know that I'm here. <laughs> right. So 
Okay, what should we do? Should we go back down? Okay, let's do it. I suppose, I suppose with these windows that are smashed, it's probably a chicken and egg situation. Which ones were smashed first? Right, the one that around the floor. I don't think this is where I was. Because this is the central one, is it? Christ, I don't know now. I'm so lost. Oh my god, don't fall through then. I can safely say this place isn't haunted. <laughs> there is no vibe about that whatsoever. You expect to see people down here, that's probably the only thing that I would say. But apart from that, I'm pretty good. How on a day like today I've not seen anybody. Amazes me in here. Oh yeah, so we actually We've been here before, but we didn't go out that corridor because look, this is a skate bit. We've not necessarily gone in a circle, but we've pretty much got to the stage now we're recovering a lot of it. Yeah, and this is how dark it is. I'm not going to turn my torch on. I just want you to feel when it gets dark. This is how dark it actually is. Don't worry, you can see well enough. Although, like I said, the funny thing was I've skidded a few times. Use on flammable liquids and electrical fires. Chub fire. We'll have a chub fire. Right. Grab on. Uh, now zigzag round. There we go. You can tell I've lost a bit of weight because of my flexibility. <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to have done that. We've been wobbling all over the place. Probably wouldn't have even been able to get through that door. <laughs> right, so that's the entrance. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. We won't go through this way. And we will. Did we go? We did go that way, didn't we? I think we did. Oh Christ, I'm so confused now, but that probably just tells you the building and how exciting it is not. <laughs> right, uh, let's get out, come on. Right, well I've uh, ended where I started. Thank you so much for coming along with me and exploring this. You can tell, <laughs> I mean, we would have just gone on forever and ever and ever um but if we just break it down we did explore all three levels in some certain sections not obviously everything we also went on the roof which was probably the best bit for me we also went into the basement which was probably the most interesting part for me there are a few outhouse buildings here which i'd like to just sort of quickly show you if i can um Let's have a look at these whilst we're here before my battery dies more importantly actually just to sort of show you it's almost looked like what I used to remember is um 
school outhouse buildings. Yeah, if some of you remember those, we used to have some and they were like these sort of um, extension buildings just to cut on cost. They look like that really, just these sort of wooden huts. But uh, yeah, you get the idea on these. Let's have a quick look. Broken grass, offensive graffiti. There we go. Ticked everything before we've even actually entered. Litter, tick. Oh wow, there is a strong smell of chemicals. Well, wow, massive TV. Already, this is way more interesting than the actual bigger building. Yeah, like it was going to be open. God. Do you know what? This is way more interesting than the, um... yeah, look at that. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> this is actually way more interesting. Do I dare open this? I do. Mm, toilets. Bloody hell. You could use those. Not that one. Jesus Christ. Although there's holes and everything in here. This is way more better than the shrine building. Do you know what? If you do come here, just come here. I mean, there's huge holes there, I think, but bloody hell, there's way more detail in these. How the hell does that work? Mm, that smell of... Chemicals and burnt wood. Lovely smell. But then, like I've admitted to you already, I did use to smell Prit stick and uh, Tipex. So, yay. Bring a dead body in there. I don't know, but I'm not going to look. Just in case. Well, okay. These outhouse buildings are way more exciting, in my, my, my opinion. Lick one. Because they're all fuses. <laughs> Absolutely amazing to think that in that big huge building that we were in there wasn't half as much interesting stuff in my opinion like little sinks everything fortunately there's enough holes in here that make everything very well ventilated oh. Oh. what did this say Oh, that there's our Commodore looks like chub fire again. Well, yeah, I got distracted then. I wasn't expecting that. There's some more outbuildings down there as well. There's also a quad. It's got flat tyres, rusted, because you don't work. So if you want a quad bike, two quad bikes. Have a look at that. I feel like I've missed out majorly on something here. Really weird. All right, bear with me. That's the basement that we saw. But this is what I wanted to look at quickly. I love it when you see the original arrow markings on the floor. Not that really you'd expect them not to be here, but you never know. But take all that away. Look at this. There's a quad. There's another one. Again, probably more interesting than the actual inner building itself. Look at that. There's another one. Well, okay. 
I'm looking at my battery and it's gonna die. So, what should we do? So the end on, thank you so much for coming along with me. It probably was boring, let's be honest. But um, we did the best we could documenting it again. You know, it's pretty too long already this. But if it is, I'm glad, I'm, I'm rather glad that I documented it as much as I could rather than not. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully, like I said, you really enjoyed it as much as you could. And in more words of Phoenix history, because history matters. And it really does. Debatable on these types of ones though, isn't it? Really is food for thought when you see something like this. You sort of say, you know, how much is how much, you know? Um, you know, what defines as history worth documenting? You know, and then it goes into the line of, well, this is history but then it classes urban exploring, which most of my stuff probably does parallel with anyway. Um, but yeah, uh, have a great time, no matter what you're doing. No more words of Phoenix history, because history matters, and I'll see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Ready? Kapow.